Well, it took a global pandemic, but I'm back. Oh my god, guys. I feel so jittery. I feel like I'm on a first date. I feel jittery. Like, I have those jittery feelings right now. I feel so nervous. I feel really nervous, guys. So sorry if I'm a little off. I just... I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited to be back. Guys, it's been two years. Some of you are looking at this. <laughs> Some of you are watching this video right now and you're like, who is that girl? Because you subscribed like two years ago and you have no idea who I am because I literally went MIA for two years. So I apologize for those of you who are clicking this video and you're like, Okay, who is this girl? When did I subscribe to her? Uh, you subscribed to me about two years ago and I was making videos and I was doing my thing and then I fell off the face of the earth. So I apologize, but please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> please stay. <laughs> While I was gone for two years, I lost 900 subscribers. Why, guys? Come on, for those of you, for those 4,900 of you who stayed with me, God bless ya, God bless ya. Thanks for sticking through. This, oh, I'm just so nervous. I have so many things to say, I just feel like I'm all over the place. In one of my past videos, I was talking like so crazy like this and I was getting so excited and one of the comments was like, do you do coke? <laughs> No, I don't, to answer your question. But guys, I'm so excited to be back. Yes, it took a global pandemic to get me here, but I'm back and I, oh, I have missed you guys so, so much. Yesterday I put on my Instagram that I was going to film today's video and the response I got from you, Oh, the response I got from you guys just warmed my heart. So I always think, you know, like, I mean, I have about 5,000 subscribers. In YouTube land, you know, for 5,000 subscribers for a regular person is a lot of subscribers. But in YouTube land, you know, people have millions upon millions upon millions of subscribers. So when I stepped away or when I kind of stopped making videos, I just thought nobody would really notice. There's so much content on YouTube. So when I have you guys messaging me and telling me like you can't wait to see that I'm coming back on or that you're just so excited, it really, it shocks me and it just warms my heart and I am humbled, truly, truly humbled for those of you who actually want to watch my videos and you're excited to watch my videos and you want to talk to me and you want to connect with me. Um, for those of you who don't know my Instagram, it's at Ruth R. Chin. I'll link it in the description box below. Feel free to follow if you want to talk to me. I'm always open to chatting and making new friends. I really don't want to start talking because if I start talking, I'm just going to go on a rampage. I'm going to like tell you guys how much I missed you and how much I love you and how thankful I am for you and just where I've been for two years. Oh my God, two years. And if I start doing that, this video is going to be forever. And the people who click this video thinking they're going to see a Kylie Jenner lip kits watch video are going to be like, what the hell is this video? So. To make things easy, I promise you I'm going to do a whole chit chat get ready with me video where I catch up with you guys and just kind of catch you up on two years that I've been away from YouTube and what's been going on and things like that. I just know that if I start talking, I'm just gonna go off on a tangent. All I wanna say to you guys is that I missed you. For those of you who stuck around, I'm so, so thankful for you and so appreciative for you. For those of you who are new, I have been away from YouTube for two years and I'm back, baby, I'm back. I would love for those of you who are not subscribed to my channel to make sure you click the subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification notification bell. What else do you have to do? I guess you have to thumbs up the video, <laughs> leave a comment down below. I've been away from the YouTube game for so long, I don't even know all the things I'm supposed to tell you. So you know all the things the other YouTubers tell you, can you just do it for me too? <laughs> for today's video, we are going to be doing the Kylie Jenner lip kit swatch video. I have 11 shades, here they are. I've actually bought these, I, I think I bought these like two years ago guys. It's been two years. I've said this before in my other swatch videos, I love lip products. Lip products are probably my favorite thing to purchase when it comes to makeup. It's just something that transforms your look so, so easy. You could literally look so ugly. You wake up in the morning, you haven't done anything, and you just put on a lip and psh, fire. I'm telling you, I think lip products just transform your face more than anything. And so because of that, I'm always such a lip fan and I'm always so curious for people who look like me, obviously people of color with a little bit of melanin and some tan in their skin. I am so curious to see how colors look on other people. So I know which ones to get. So these are one of my favorite videos to do. I've done this before for Lime Crime colors for the Velveteens, which I love. I've done this for MAC and I will link all those down below. They're somewhere on my channel. So if you like this kind of video, I have way more for you to check out in the meantime. Let's get started. I have my usual drill. I have my makeup wipes. I got my Vaseline, because these videos actually hurt your lips a lot. I don't know if you guys realize, but putting on 11 colors of lipstick and then taking them off, it hurts. 
but I do it for you guys because I love you. Because I love you. <laughs> Quickly, I am not going to go on about the Kylie Jenner lip kits because I feel like I'm like really behind to the game. Like these products were really in their height and in their popularity years ago. And I mean, people still use them, but they don't talk about them like crazy like how they used to. I will say I'm a big fan of the packaging. And I should put a disclaimer out there. I said I was not going to talk a lot, but here I am going on on my stories. But I... Would this be a Ruth Chin video if I didn't tell you guys a story? I mean, come on. I literally tell you guys a story in every single video. The video could be like, let's watch a sunrise and I'll tell you a story. So please, just get comfy and listen, okay? <laughs> I missed you. The thing I wanted to tell you was I actually was never intending to buy the Kylie Jenner lip kits. Never. I, I kind of, to be honest, was just like, it's Kylie Jenner. She already has all the money in the world. She doesn't need my money. There's so many other brands that I would rather support at Sephora and just online. And so I was never, ever going to buy a Kylie Jenner lip kit. I happened to be in the States a few years ago. At, I go to the States all the time. Not now because of Corona, but <laughs> um, we go to the States all the time and we were in an Ulta and they had a whole display. So I decided I was going to start swatching all of the colors on my hand. And as I was doing that, I just started to fall in love with the colors and it was so soft, the product, that I was really impressed. Just my first impression of it. It wasn't on my lips, it was just on my hand, but I was just very impressed by, you know, the colors and just how everything was really soft. Then I went home that night and I washed my hands, obviously, throughout the day, things like that. And the product was not coming off. It legitimately was on my hand. It took, I think, a day for it to finally come off. And I had to really scrub and get it off. And then I, that kind of won me over. And I was like, you know what? I'm kind of impressed with the products. And that's why I decided to even buy these products and get them. I wasn't initially going to even be a you know, Kylie Cosmetics customer. And it just so happened that I was in Ulta. I played around with it. It seemed to work on my hand. And it seemed to have that kind of appeal that I wanted to for a matte lipstick. And I thought, hey, why not give it a shot? So I went on to the website I think they were having like a buy one get one sale or 50% off sale I'm pretty sure that I got all of this for 50% off I only ever buy my makeup on sale because girl I need to save that money honey I'm gonna try them on I'm gonna talk about what I think about them and you guys let me know which one is your favorite once we go through this so the first one is one wish this is the color right here on the side all of the lip kits come with a liner and with the matte liquid lipstick I'm going to apply this the way that they say on the back. They say that you should first fill in your lips with the lip liner and then top with one coat of the MAC liquid lipstick. So that's what I'm going to do for all of them just to make it easy for you guys to see what the color swatch would be. And I know sometimes some of you want to have like a color reference of what my skin color is. So today I'm wearing um, my MAC foundation. This is the Studio Water Weight SPF 30 foundation and I'm in the color... And C45 so that gives you kind of a reference if you guys have a MAC shade that you can compare it to okay I will say one I think my teeth look extremely yellow when I wear colors like this I don't hate it I think this is a color that I would definitely have to layer with other colors it's not something I can wear alone um, it's just too is it Barbie or just like pukey or, or I don't even know how to describe it really. It's just too pink. It's it's too harsh of a pink against my skin tone. Texture wise, it feels extremely nice. Like my lips do not feel in any way dry or chappy or anything like that. It feels very, very nice. I don't think that one coat is enough. Um, if you can, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but if you look really closely, if I go like this maybe, at the top of my lips here, you can see the darkness of my lip coming through. Here, I would have to go in with another coat. I like how it dries. I like that my lips don't feel like they have literally been dehydrated, which like some of the other matte lipsticks actually do to your lips. I would not wear this in person just by itself. I would definitely have to play with it a little bit. But this is One Wish. Okay, so the next color that we are going to be doing is the color Kylie, and this is the color that I'm most excited for because if she named this color after herself, then I'm guessing this is one of her favorites. This is Kylie on my lips. Surprisingly, I don't hate it. When I see it in the bottle, when I see it in the tube, as soon as I was trying it on, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hate this color, but I actually prefer this to One Wish. I think it works a lot better for my skin tone. I can wear it as is now. Definitely, I think with both of these colors though, they would look even better if I do some kind of like lip concoction with them. I love to always mix my lips together, like my lipsticks together. Um, any lip product that I'm using, I like to layer with other colors to get a really intense, like defined look just for me. I could definitely see someone with like a really beautiful tan with just glowing skin, a lot of highlight, not a lot of makeup, just really, really dewy, glowy skin with the highlight and this color 
oh my god it would look so so good okay so the next color we're going to be doing is the color Malibu okay I love this one if you guys have watched any of my previous videos you know that cashmere velveteen by lime prime is one of my most favorite favorite lip products of of life like this product is literally life-changing for me this is Malibu by Kylie Cosmetics and this is cashmere velveteen by lime crime they're literally identical identical guys so I did a swatch for you guys to see but oh remember how a little bit before I was telling you I love to do concoctions I accidentally mixed my cashmere so this is cashmere right here and I accidentally mixed it with another color when I had done a concoction to go out somewhere this is Malibu right here and this is the cashmere velveteen and this is the color that I mix the cashmere velveteen with even though it's not identical in color right now because I added in that extra color you can see that it's the same tone if you're looking in the bottle they look identical like up close I'm looking at them they look like the exact same color so as soon as I put this on I was like oh my god I know that color for some people this would make people feel like they are sick or that they just look like <laughs> they need CPR or something but for me I love colors like this because just imagine you're wearing this really dark intense eye look and then you have this really pale like washed out type of lip color I personally love that look and something I would do with this on top so that my lips weren't so dry or didn't like make me look that sickly to be honest is I would put like a really beautiful clear gloss or some type of gloss on top of it I think it is the perfect base to mix with like a really intense pink or a really intense purple or just other colors to give you that custom look that's just going to be just for you so Really, so far, Malibu is my winner. I'm so, so happy with this one. So the next color that we are going to be doing is the color Moon. The annoying thing about these lip liners is, look at the nub. Can you guys see that? It's like non-existent. And I don't have my sharpener with me. It's just so annoying that these are brand new and then that's how big the nub is. It makes it really hard to put the lip liner on because it starts scraping when it reaches the end here. Ooh, Moon looks really, really nice. Oh my gosh. Guys, I really, really, really like this. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. It actually has, like, an undertone of, like, a grayish purple. And it works so well, I think, with my skin tone. I really like it on my skin tone. Because it kind of reminds me of a darker version of the Malibu, which is the one I just wore. I really like this. I could see myself wearing this for fall, 100%. It's just the perfect neutral color, but it doesn't wash me out to the point that I look sick or that I'm dying. I think this is a top contender for me. Okay, so the next color that we are going to be doing is the color 20 these lip liners are really pissing me off honestly oh ooh, mama I really like this color which is really surprising to me because I am I told you guys I'm really into the neutrals like the colors that make me look sick and the ones that my mom is like please take that off <laughs> even though this has that little bit of reddish burntish not even an orange it's just like this really beautiful soft cranberry color mixed in with a neutral base it is so pretty pretty not pretty <laughs> pretty definitely a color for fall 100 percent. this would be so so nice for the season okay now we're going into the lip kit dolce k oh my god look at this lip liner i hope you can see it it's literally not there look at it that's so annoying because i don't even know where my sharpener is so i have to make this work Ugh, it's like hurting me. Oh, I really like this one too. I like all of them. Oh my God. Okay, so this one is called Dolce K. Of a neutral for me. There's no undertone. It kind of just looks like my skin color, to be honest. Like it just looks like my skin on lips, which makes it a little bit weird because there's like maybe like the slightest color difference. So usually if I was going to wear this, I'd probably do a really intense eye, like something so intense that I had to have the rest of my face like really subdued or I would throw in a gloss on top of this. I keep saying that, so let me show you what I mean. So this is Please Me by MAC. It is a pink lip gloss. I'm gonna show you guys. I wouldn't necessarily use this exact lip gloss, but it's right in front of me, so I'll show you. So I would just put it on top. Ooh, that's a pretty combination. Ooh, I really like this one. So this is what I mean, guys. Make your own color combinations. And if you guys wanna see more videos of like color combinations that I'm talking about, I think I have like two videos where I say like top five nude lip colors for brown skin girls or something and I have two like sex segments of them so I'll link them in the description box below and I think 
something comes across the screen at the top, so I'll put it there. Um, but if you want to see like an updated one, just like with new colors or like a certain color, like maybe purples or pinks or things like that, let me know because I will 100% do that. I am a big advocate for making your own color combinations because I think that they are the things that work the best rather than sticking to just one color. You get the best of both worlds. Ooh, don't mind if I do. This one is called Leo. Oh my god, my dog brother's name is Leo. My dad has a dog. Uh, I think it's a golden doodle. His name is Leo. He's my dog brother. He's very hyper. He's very young. He's very, very hyper, but I love him. He's my favorite sibling. <laughs> Ooh, I can already tell I'm going to like this one. I will say... <laughs> This lip liner is driving me up the wall. So when you're using it, make sure that you have enough of it that it's out. Because what's happening is I'm trying to put it onto my lips, but the edges of the container are rubbing against my lips and making it go crazy. So it's not staying on and I keep moving product back and forth. Ooh, ooh, fire. I definitely thought Leo, like looking at the color in the tube and the color on the packaging, I thought Leo was going to be a brown like more of a brown color and this is definitely more of a deep red all right i didn't do the best job in applying it but who this guys this right here like can you imagine guys really intense lashes like just like a really beautiful intense pair of lashes like hold on let me find it oh okay like these these are from lena lashes they are called gg look at these lashes guys could you imagine these lashes with like a really beautiful eyeliner and this on your lips did I need to be that dramatic? No, I didn't need to be. But guys, this color is fire. I can definitely, definitely, like this is a color my mom would wear. My mom would not wear any of those colors that washed me out, but this is a color my mom would wear. It's a universal color that will look good on every single skin tone. I dare you, I challenge you to find me a person that will not good look. <laughs> I challenge you to find me a person who will not look good in this color. Literally, this color would look good on any skin tone. It's just one of those colors. Ooh, I'm glad that I tried this on right before fall because let's be honest, it's not like I'm going anywhere to wear it, but if I was, this is the color that I would wear. <laughs> so the next color that we are going to be doing is the color Clove. This is the color swatch on the packet. Let's grab the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. Ooh, this one looks so nice too. All of these colors are hitting it out of the park. This color to me is a color that I could wear around family. Not saying that the one that I just put on you couldn't like. So this one is Leo, which is what I just wore. And this one is Clove. I definitely think that Leo is more of like a nighttime go out, hang with your friends. This color right here to me is more natural looking and it still gives you that pop of like, ooh, look at me, but it's not so in your face that it's screaming at the top of your lungs. You're not like pulling the fire alarm for people to look at your lips. It is such a beautiful color and this like to me, like when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, oh, I can wear that to Thanksgiving, which in Canada is just a few weeks away. I am a fan. Okay, so the next color that we're going to be doing is the color Hollyberry. This is the swatch on the side of the packet right here. Ooh, very pretty. Lip looks jacked up right now. <laughs> I'm really surprised right now, honestly, because this is my first time trying all of the Kylie Cosmetics products. Honestly, um, when I had purchased these two years ago, I thought I was just going to do it on camera to see my initial reaction. So all of my reaction to these colors is what you're seeing right here. I haven't worn any of this stuff before, and I'm genuinely shocked at how much I like the colors. Like most of the colors, I think out of 11 or the nine that we've done so far, I think I haven't liked one, like just on its own, but everything is just so pretty. Like it's so nice. And it, I think one of the things that I'm really impressed with is just how nice it feels on my lips. So I have put on now nine colors on my lips. I've taken them off. I've added like a little bit of Vaseline here and there, but even when these dry, they're not drying to the point that my lips feel like all the water and moisture have been sucked out of them. I feel like I can move, like I can move my lips. They don't feel dry, they don't feel like there is tension in them or that they're like stuck in a position. I'm really, really impressed. This reminds me of a Christmas lip, like something I would wear to a Christmas party. Um, not that I'm gonna go to any this year because you know we're stuck in our houses forever. The next color that we're gonna be doing is the color Love Bite. This is also another darker color. I think I got a lot, I unintentionally got a lot of dark colors. So, I mean, I just literally went on the site and picked some up. You can see the color over here. Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. Oh, this is like a purple and gray and Malibu, the one, the Malibu color in this, or like cashmere velveteen in um, Lime Crime, 
had a baby and this is the color they came out with. It's such a beautiful color. It, it's not burgundy, it's like a really grayed out purple. That's what I would classify this as. But it's a beautiful color, a color that I would totally wear on its own, that I really, really like. It is so gorgeous. Oh, I love all these colors. I literally am feeling now like I wanna start dressing up to go to the grocery store because that's all I ever go to because of Corona. Um, but then I realized that I'll be wearing a mask, so like, who's really gonna see? Okay, the last color that we're gonna be doing is the color Vixen, and I think this might be the darkest color that I got in the whole collection. Ooh, ooh, oh my god. Oh my god, I feel like a vampire with this color. Beautiful, beautiful. Perfect fall color, perfect winter color. Ah, like literally, literally I put this on and I feel like, look at me, I am woman. Like, you know, like you just feel like a bad chick. This is a color that like, you're going to get that guy. You are going to get that job. You are going to get that something. Like this is like the, I'm going to go and I'm going to get it because I'm a boss. No, this is like a, like just an intense color that I absolutely love. And when I'm feeling myself, this is the color that I'll be wearing. So if you see me in the streets of Toronto and I'm wearing this color, that means I'm feeling myself, girl. These are all the colors so that you guys can see what it looks like as a recap. Guys, I wanna thank you so, 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 so much for watching my video. I know that it has been a while since I have been on here and I'm sorry if it was a little rusty or if it was a little all over the place. I just feel so grateful that I was able to come back on YouTube and to connect with you guys again. I really hope you enjoyed this video and like I said, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos. I really wanna know what content you guys wanna see. I really wanna start doing a lot more skincare videos and just follow me around videos and show you guys what's been going on with my life. As most of you know, I started a floral and decor company. So if you have not followed us on Instagram, it's I will link it down below. The name is Ruth Chin Events and I would love for you guys to follow along. So grateful to all of you, honestly, for sticking around like I said before and I know I sound like a broken record but I'm just so grateful and humbled and excited to be back I have missed you guys so much and I'm here guys I'm here so talk to me message me I want to hear what's going on with you guys I want to know that you guys are enjoying the content and just let me know anything you want to hear I'm all ears here here, here. all ears I'm ready to listen all ears <laughs> I will talk to you guys in my next video don't you ever forget you are so so beautiful Bye, guys.